up, yeah, so I got my LED emblem in the mail. Uh, the chrome part is what lights up, so I'm about to go ahead and tape this off and paint all of this yellow, white, so it'll match the car. But uh, it's a little bit bigger than the factory emblem that was on here, so most likely I might kind of prop it up like that. So it kind of overlap the top just a little bit, or yeah, so would it be in as even as possible top and bottom? the bottom section with the 3m doesn't touch the grill so that's why i'm thinking about angling it up just a little bit or yeah i probably overlap the top instead of the bottom so yeah but uh yeah so i'm gonna go ahead and tape out of this off paint it and uh yeah that'll be on there and this grill is coming off in like a week i got a new grill coming in uh mm, I put a little, I put a picture in here to show you the one I'm talking about, but, uh, it should be in like next week, but I want to at least get this done, test it out make sure I like it. That way once the new grill gets in, I can just take this off, slap it on the new grill and everything will be together. But yeah, let me go ahead and take this up and get ready for some paint. All right, so I figured I'd follow the instructions on the can. This is two light coats and then one medium coat, 10 minutes between each coat. I'm using this engine enamel paint simply because it's thicker than the uh, than these regular duplicolor cans, these short ones. I guess I painted on top of all of mine, but yeah. The paint is thicker than these perfect match cans, so I like this better. But same deal, uh, two light coats and then one medium coat after all of that. So go ahead and get the light coats on. Give it 10 minutes and I'll be right back. This is two light coats of primer followed by uh, medium coat kind of thick let that dry for about 10 minutes and then two more coats of well two light coats of this stuff followed by one medium kind of thick coat so just sprayed the last coat i'm gonna let that dry uh while that's drying i'm gonna go ahead and get the wires and stuff together for how it's gonna work which i'm wiring it up to the park lights so is it'll be on at night basically daytime daytime running lights won't affect it or none of that but yeah so and uh instead of just wiring it straight because i'm gonna be taking this grill off in like another week or two uh what i'm gonna do is can i get this out with one hand yep all right, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to run some wires from the harness all the way across. Yeah, so one, run some wires from the harness all the way across, maybe just one. And uh, I'll do like a little connector, like a disconnect somewhere around here. That way I can, when I get ready to take this bumper off and do the grill and all of that, I can just unhook it right here instead of having to go way over there to unhook it. But run that, uh, probably just grind it off right here with uh everything else so the halos are grounded off here uh i feel like something else was in here grounded to that but yeah all of that will be grounded in the same spot so i just run one wire from the park light positive all the way across do like a little disconnect right here and hook them up right there so yeah should be simple enough all right so got the headlight out uh on the harness this far right wire is the park light and you can know that by looking at your headlight harness so which would be this light wire way over here which is the red wire which goes to the park light over here and uh, this park light so that's how you know which wire to connect it to on the actual harness so cut the wire back on here splice this together 
I'm gonna tape this back up, put this back over it. Uh, like I said before, ground is coming over here. Just realized this plastic piece is broken over here. So, you know, that's something I gotta deal with. But I'm just gonna move this over, probably to this, I guess. And uh, yeah, then I can put the emblem on. Uh, the paint is done. It's dry by now, I hadn't touched it yet, but it's over here. So, paint is done. Just gotta get some 3M and stick it on here. And I'll probably anchor it from the back of the grill some type of way like I did before. I had 3M on the front and the back and kinda mushed them together on the old emblem I had. So, I don't know if that helped or not, but you know, we'll see. Foul less fails, I put some, uh, I put some kind of sealant or something on the back of it to kind of glue it down on this some temporary stuff. But yeah, let's go ahead and hook this stuff up. So I got it on, it's a little bigger than I wanted it to be, but it works. So, you know, it's a plus with that. So yeah. I'm feeling it. Just a little something, uh, just to give me something to do. I'm probably getting some new headlights uh, in the next couple months or so. But what y'all think about this? And turn these lights on for real. There we go. So. Yeah, let me know what y'all think. Uh, my only problem with this, and the 3M that comes on here is super sticky. I ended up putting another layer of 3M on the back side of it just in case. So that's what's touching the grill and uh, but that stuff is real sticky. But uh, only problems I got so far is the wires off of it are real thin. So I don't know how that's gonna play into the longevity of it or not. But other than that, it's pretty nice. So. Let me know how y'all feel about it. Uh, I put a link in the description of where I got it from and all that. I think it was like $20 or something, so not bad, but I put that in there and uh, yeah, that's one project done for a little bit. And uh, yeah, catch y'all in the next one, which will be dealing with, with this little troublemaker. But I'll catch y'all in the next one.